Our goal today is to expose our middle school students to the excitement of engineering, to show them all the different types of engineers that there are, all the great, great things that we do, and how we help change the world. At East Granby Middle School, students were joined by a special guest who knows a thing or two about what it takes to build. Not just build a quality airplane engine, but also quite a career, and one that defies demographics. Jonna Gherkin is a manager of manufacturing engineering for Pratt & Whitney and is also the president of the Society of Women Engineers. She was joined by a dozen other engineers from Pratt & Whitney and their parent company UTC Aerospace to give these students a hands-on experience. This is the perfect age to get them interested in math and technology and science. And the students were loving it. Sometimes when there's something that I really just see and I want to do, I'll just build it the way it's supposed to. Shannon was helping build solar-powered cars that would move along simply by shining a light on them. And she's no stranger to things like this, and is another example of the apple not falling far from the tree. I want to be an engineer just like my dad because he works at Magnatech and I love it there. The field of engineering is overwhelmingly male-dominated, with women making up only about 15% of working engineers. As Jonna and her colleagues note, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. It still does not uh, reflect the demographics of our population, and until we get there, our work isn't done. And the tide is starting to turn, with efforts like this from UTC really beginning to change the culture. Now, with many of the STEM fields, it's incredibly rewarding to see your efforts pay off, especially if it involves flying across the country at nearly the speed of sound using an engine you helped build. Well, being in aerospace, every time I get on a plane, yeah. I am reminded about how cool it is what we do. East Granby Middle School counselor Kashima Jennings helps set this all up and says she's open to more in the future. I would love to be able to do other programs like this in the future um, to bring um, professionals in to talk to our students, to kind of mentor our students, and also kind of bridging that gap between education and the career professions. I'm Dan Amaranti, Fox 61 News.